一个又一个的货柜堆叠在杜拜的杰贝阿里港，机器正井然有序地处理所有的运送工作，但这样的画面却看起来有点诡异。这个一年处理一千四百万个货柜，吞吐量是世界第九大的港口，放眼望去竟然几乎看不到人。Look closer, and you'll see a network of sensors, devices, software, all communicating with each other in real time. With these joysticks here, <laughs> and it looks a little bit like a video game. What I could lift containers up. Yeah, except that this is a real game of life. So anything you do, it's actually reflected in, in reality. Is that to say you don't want me to play it? Maybe it's better for, for all of us <laughs> if we stay away from it. 阿拉伯联合大公国打造无人智慧港，沙地阿拉伯的阿布杜拉国王港则是力拼效率，全球第一。I love taking people out here. This is one of the best parts of my day. I mean, look at this this ship. She's now on her way to the east coast of the United States. So picked up cargo from from India, from Saudi Arabia, and is now moving back to the U.S. 临近沙国第二大城吉达，就位在世界最繁忙的航线之一——红海航线上。光是这个航线就运送全球百分之十的货运量。阿布杜拉国王港一年能处理的货运量更是高达一千五百万个货柜，还是疫情期少见、没有受到太大冲击的货运港。Remember that was a period of time where the shipping lines didn't know which ports they could go to, which were operating fully or at capacity. You didn't shut down. We didn't shut down at all. So, credit to the teams here, the terminal operators, the government entities, the regulators, who actually sat down and had live workshops on how the operations could keep going, going on throughout the pandemic. 世界银行最新公布有关港口货运表现的报告，阿布杜拉国王港就挤进前二十名。二零二一年还一度窜升到第二名，不断改善效率就是要抢下红海航线的商机，成为重要的航运枢纽。These vessels are 400 meters long, the the size of the Empire State Building. They they they're huge vessels that that come in here, and they come into the port and they offload containers that are then loaded onto another vessel. For a final destination, so shipping lines would bring containers into the port here that might be destined for Africa,、uh, other countries in the Middle East, India, Indian Ocean Islands. This is an area where there are about 400 million consumers. 目前全球货运量最大的转运枢纽，像是中国大陆新加坡以及南韩的港口，一年可以处理两千两百万到四千七百万个货柜。阿布杜拉国王港跟这些大港相比是小巫见大巫，虽然吞吐量比不上中东的港口，就力拼转运的效率。Size is important, but scalability is even more important. Seventy-five percent of our containers destined for Saudi Arabia. Are cleared for importation within 24 hours. So I think we have extremely good terminal operators here. They have good systems. They have good planning. We have extremely good relationships with the customs, and we actually designed what we call a port community system, which is a digital and IT interface between all the different entities together. 耗资二十七亿打造的这个中型港口阿布杜拉国王港，透过快速的处理模式，号称能让东西方的货运缩短五到七天，而且就位在沙地阿拉伯的工业区附近，要成为沙国力拼二零三零愿景的重要航运枢纽。TVBS 新闻综合报道。想看最完整的新闻内容，记得下载 TVBS 新闻网 APP。